Hi everybody, how are you doing? This is Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I'm going to be showing you how to add the cinematic letterbox effect to your media. Now I recently made the switch from Sony Vegas Pro editing software to Final Cut Pro 10 and I can't be happier with the transition. I think it was a great choice and I absolutely love Final Cut Pro 10. However, there was an issue when it came to letterboxing. Uh, when I applied any sort of transition, the transition would happen outside of the letterboxing effect, therefore the transition would happen uh, surrounding the letterbox effect. Now let me show you exactly what I mean and let me show you the fix to this issue. Let me go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro. Now with Final Cut Pro it's going to open up my latest project. So I'm going to show you what I've been editing and I'm going to add a letterboxing effect to it with transitions so uh, we can see what's going on here. Now we have a, we have a little clip here of David Wygant who's a world-renowned renown um, dating and life expert so um, I was shooting an interview here uh, it's not color corrected uh, this is raw footage uh, so what I want to do I want to add a little cinematic effect to this clip now how am I gonna do that now the typical thing I would go to um, effects and I would want to search for letterbox correct because I want to add a nice little uh, letterbox effect there. Uh, you see the little letterbox effect. Let me let me make sure I see it better here. Going down here. I'm gonna increase the border size so you guys see what I'm talking about. And here we have the cinematic uh, border here. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and add a transition. I'm gonna split this clip into two. I'm going to press the B key, enter the blade tool, split the clip into two. Then I'm going to go to my transitions. And let me add a flash transition. So here's a, a flash. I'm going to drag and drop it in between the two split clips. Now watch, as I play back the footage, you can notice that the flash covers the letterbox the letterbox borders I just want the flash to cover what's inside the borders not the whole thing now since Final Cut Pro does not work on a timeline format meaning that this is what they call a storyboard so a timeline is what Sony Vegas and what Avid and and uh, Premiere Pro are based off of so it's a little bit of a different uh, editing format and the best solution I found to fix this strange issue with uh, Final Cut was to create a transparent letterbox in another program so what I decided to do I decided to go into Adobe Fireworks you can also do this in Adobe Photoshop as well so I open up Adobe Fireworks just waiting for it to load here I'm gonna create a new fireworks document and I want to make this a 1080p uh, resolution file. So I'm going to go ahead and do 1920 width by 1080. Okay. All right, here we have our canvas. Now, Final Cut imports PNG files very well. So if I'm going to leave this to be transparent, well, it's going to be invisible in the Final Cut project which is good. So what I first want to do, I can go ahead and turn this canvas into a transparent canvas. So I'm going to go down here to my properties, select canvas, and then select no color. This will make the whole thing, the whole tr uh, canvas transparent. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and draw a black rectangle. Okay, it's not black, so I'm going to go down here to color change it to black alright there we go and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click the selection tool and just make a copy of that and drag it down to the bottom right there alright and then we can go ahead and click on save as save it to my desktop as letterbox test.png save 
Now, what's in the checker checkered box area here is going to be the footage. Whatever is checker boxed, that means it's transparent. So I can go ahead and quit fireworks. And what I can do is drag and drop what I made in fireworks into the project. All right. Now I'm also going to remove my old letterbox effect that I had prior to the uh, new letterbox. So I'm going to remove letterbox because I already imported this letterbox. Now you can see how intense it is. It's it's a pretty big letterbox. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the clip, then I'm going to go to transform. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch it out. Just like that. That looks nice. Click on done. And then watch what happens when I drag this clip over the tra transition here. Now, don't forget that this also works like any other editing software. What's on top is dominant, and what's below is not dominant. All right, so here we have it. I'm going to remove, again, I'm going to remove the old letterbox from this clip as well, because remember how I split it. Uh, I'm going to remove it. Let's see where it is. Here it is. Just go ahead and click delete. And the letterbox is gone. So I'm going to go back up here to the letterbox file I created. And if you notice, the flash transition now happens within the letterbox borders and not outside the letterbox borders. And um, unfortunately, Final Cut doesn't have a fix to this, so this is the best fix for the letterbox issue here when it comes to transitions. And of course, you can extend it or shorten it as long or as short as you want throughout the whole entire project. And that way, you have a cool cinematic letterbox effect in your Final Cut Pro projects. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you out, and it will eliminate the letterbox transition issue uh, from your editing days. And uh, yeah, this was a really easy, really quick fix. And all you need is Fireworks, Photoshop, or any other photo editing um, software that allows you to draw shapes. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you will create.